Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Satisfactory and we are now in early access. Yes, you can see it on top of the screen there. The game is now out to play for everybody if you've purchased it, of course. If you wish to do so, I've left my code, my affiliate code and my creator tag as a pinned comment below. So if you're going to buy the game, please use that. Costs you exactly the same, gives me a little kickback. And that is fantastic. That is really helpful. So, last time I saw you, we've done a little bit of work. Oh, come on, game. Keep up. We've done a little bit of work over here. We are now running off of coal power. And today, we are going to automate that. So, we have over here the truck station, which will automatically unload from my truck. I've stopped over there for a reason. And when that unloads, all the stuff comes out here. And we've sort of got a splitter spitting some of it back into this side. So you see these two orange uh, blobs up here. This is to show that this is the fuel side and this is the storage side. So in the storage, that's just like a big storage container. And this fuel side here goes into this one. And this is fuel, not for the truck station. It's fuel to go in your tractor. So when it lines up underneath here, it will fill up your internal fuel tank. And we're running off coal. But the rest of it uh, comes out down here and goes into two coal generators, which are maxed out. Uh, to the top. At the minute, nothing is running, and I think it still actually burns through the fuel. Well, something somewhere must be running because we have some need there. Um, but I'll, I'll show you in a minute why I thought uh, nothing was running. So, yeah, we've got that going. Two coal generators powering everything, and I was always running out of concrete. So, our little messy concrete station here, which will get upgraded at some point, <laughs> I, I jumped on during the week. And decided to add this hawky borky thing. And we've got three containers here filling up with concrete. There we go. That one's nearly done. These two will be filled up to the brim. If we go up here as well. Yep, loads in there. So lots and lots of concrete. And you need concrete now for your conveyor belts. Uh, no, you don't. You need them for the pole. Yeah, for the conveyor pole. So if you're doing long conveyor belts, you need a bit of extra concrete for that. I'm not sure whether that was the case before or not. But anyway, we need lots and lots of concrete because we're building lots of things. That's that's the answer. Um, we've also got um, stairs and things I've been using. Now we can get around our base without having to jump over all of the uh, conveyor belts. I can get down here. I can go this way. That's back to where we were with the coal generators. I can run over the top. And my game has been running so much. You see it's all ground to a standstill. That's because these are all full. Look at these. We have eight containers filled with plates. Look at that. Two, four, six, eight. We have four containers filled with rods. And we have four containers filled with screws. We can expand those up. Absolutely no problem at all. We can keep those going. And I may do that at some point. Um, I also found another concrete node over there. So I've just hooked that up to a couple of containers here, which are already filled up. And I was just messing around with some of these walls here. But this is all going, is it? Oh, that's filling up slowly. And that one probably is filled up. Yeah, so that's really good. So that's been working nicely. I've expanded all of this here, tidied everything up. All of this is running. I've got all your power hooked up together. Everything is running really, really well. But what I want to do is automate... Um, oh, we've got some stuff in there, haven't we? What's that? Oh, tooltips aren't working in this version for some reason. Slightly odd, but never mind. Um, yeah, and we're building that up the top here. We've also got the colour gun. Look at this. Look at all the different colour walls we've got now. Um, if we go into here and swap this for this. If you right-click with this now, you get all these different colours. And you can edit them as well. So you can put in whatever. So you can have... Well, I want this one to be... Slightly blue, I want it to be whatever, and white, I want that to be something else. Yeah, and you can change your colours. So these are the sort of 16 that you're given as standard. And with these, you can also colour machines. Look at that. Uh, let's go for this one. I picked a pink one, didn't I? Oh, select colour. There we go. Yay! So we can have pink machines, pink all the things. Which is really good. I like that. Pink storage unit. So we can actually colour code our storage units as well. Ooh, yep, there we go. So that is really good. And you can see on the colour of the walls here that these are all the different colour options that you have. These these 16 
of all of these. So that is really nice. I like that. So we're definitely going to be colouring a lot of things. For some reason, every time I start the game, these things are on. And you have to pick them on and off again for them to stop. Ah, there we go. Peace and quiet. Um, yes, so that's that. Uh, we also had some visitors into my map. That's other me and other me too. We're going to call you um, Fred and Ginger. Uh, popped into my map and we won't talk about that. So let's automate the coal. We want uh, to swap that back to here. So as we ride under here, how is our storage going? Well, this is almost filled up. So it may or may not do what we want it to do. But this truck here... Uh, the vehicle is filled up with coal. So if we drive this over here bom, 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 and stop near enough near it. There we go. So it's going to take out some coal. Pop that in there. And this will fill up. And that's going to carry on Yep, doing that. I want to put on here some slopes. So let us just go yeah, there and there and there and do, 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 there excellent and then over the other side i've got a lot of stuff going on over there so let's take a drive and i'm going to record this time so i'm going to start back here there hold down c uh start recording there we go it's recording so we're going to go up to here we're going to stop we're going to let the animation go. You don't actually have to let the animation go, but that's what we're going to do. Then I'm going to come down here, and I'm trying to set this up so I can have two trucks running possibly, but I think one at the moment will be perfectly fine. So this is recording my route all the way over to the other coal station, and I'll show you what I've got set up over here, and I'm hoping I'm taking the best route there. The best route there is probably okay. It's the route coming back. I always sort of get mixed up. Um, through here. Yeah, this is right. So you can see it up on the, uh, up on the hilltop on the right-hand side. My coal generator that we set up last time that's automatically powering itself and storing a lot of coal. Well, we've now got a truck station down here as well. Whoa, look at all of that gas. So let's make sure we don't do anything wrong here. We're going to slow down a bit. So I've widened all of this out. This is nice and big. We're going to come around this side. You can see it's dropping the nodes on the floor. We can edit those if we need to. We're going to slow down and we're going to swing it round here. Pause again while that fills me up with coal. There we go. And then we're off again. And now we're going to go back. So I'm going to stay this side this time. And hopefully that's enough room for two trucks if ever we want to do that. Let's just slow down for the corner. It does remember your speed as well. See, that node there, I might have to adjust just so they don't bump into each other. But we'll see. We'll see. So let's go this side of the bush and down here. Oh, it's quite handy because I can see the nodes going back. So I can sort of follow them. I suppose if I sent two trucks out at different times... Wait for one truck to get halfway round, start the other truck. Yeah, I don't know. I'm overlapping there anyway, so whatever. It's probably only ever going to be one truck. I don't think we're going to be using that much coal that two trucks can't keep up. I mean, I've been manually doing this myself, driving backwards and forwards while I've been sort of building that thing. And, yeah, there we go. So we can stop at any point. But I'm going to sort of stop there. There we go. And that will automatically finish recording. There we go. So if we jump out. There we go. That should kick in and go to the next node automatically. Unless I have to do it myself. Uh, let's have a look in there. Vehicle. Or do I have to do it and then jump off? Yeah, let's see. Enable autopilot. There we go. Autopilot active, yes. And there it goes. No, don't get stuck. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's doing the... <laughs> what? No, he's going. Right, okay, let's follow him. So we're going to drive this one. Make sure he gets there and back. So he's waiting. He's unloading. 
I'm hoping this works first. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. I'm hoping this works and he doesn't fall over or crash or anything on the way. Let's make sure we don't bump into him and cause any problems. And I'm pretty sure you can individually edit these nodes. We will have a look in a moment. Woohoo! It's a race! You could do that, actually. You could pre-program a course and then race them. But yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to accidentally knock this guy flying. I want him just to follow the route carefully. So I'm pretty sure it does memorise your speed as well. Yep, there he goes. He's off. Nice. So he's going to continually go round and round and continually bring over coal for me as and when we need it and keep my entire base powered. Now, I do know that I could run a conveyor belt all the way, but I don't wish to do that. Something to keep in mind. Oh, I need to make sure I get the truck I'm driving out of the way. <laughs> yeah, we'll stay this side. We'll be fine. Um, yeah. Let's see. So he's going to load up. Oh, what? What is going on? He's crashed into the... Oh, no, hang on. He's moving. Is he going to do it right? Okay, he's worked it out. <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? That was weird. Is he going to carry on? Yep, he is. Go on, you can do it. So I think this node here... If we press E to edit this node... Delete node. Can I, whoa! Is he trying to work it out for himself? He is! He's done it! So if I delete that node, he'll go from there, around to there, without this one. I was hoping we could move the node. If I take this out of my hand... Yeah, I can't. Edit the node. Do you want to delete this node? I want to move it. But I'm hoping that that will just go around there automatically. And he's off. Look, he's gone. He's up there. Cool. So here, what we've done is... Let's run all the way up to the top. Jumpy, jumpy. Have a quick sip of tea on the way. Is instead of having the truck station at the top here, which was really slow driving your truck up this slope, I've got a splitter just going into some coal here just so I can come and grab some by hand. I've got this splitting off going into our coal generator, powering the mine. And then the rest of it, I've got another sort of buffer here, just because. And then this, as you saw, is going down the hill. We can jump onto here. Oh, I've got some coal that I left on the floor. Let's grab this. There we go. And this goes all the way down here. And it's got a splitter there. One goes into the fuel side. And one goes into the um, storage side. So hopefully that's worked out okay at the other end. And we'll see him coming back. Let's just jump down here. Have a quick look in the storage side. Yeah, it's a bit empty at the moment. Let's drag. So it's going in. It's just a bit slow. I think because he's just taken a full load. <laughs> I want to see him coming back. Have we got any in here that I could steal? No, we're fine. Come on now. Hopefully, no problems. I want to be careful because I don't want to get in the way of him returning. Should we go and have a look and see what's going on? Let's just... As long as we stay on the left-hand side... Oh, that's tried to fill me up, I think. Did it? No, I hope not. <laughs> as long as we stay on the left-hand side, we should be okay. Let's go up here. And let's just sort of stay. Whoa, I don't know why we're getting the herky-jerkiness. A bit odd, but it is early access. Okay, let's stay this side. Can we see him coming back? Not yet. I wonder whether he's crashed down here somewhere. Um, he's going to come up that way, so I'm going to go this way. I don't think we passed him. <laughs> Where is he? What's he doing? My truck, come back. Ah, uh, he's up there, I think. Is he? Nope. Where the heck has he gone? So he's not here. Uh, okay, let's just get this to unload. There we go. Thank you very much. You can take out what's in there. Did we pass him on the way and I didn't realise? Huh. Or has he fallen off somewhere and disappeared in a hole? 
which would just be fantastic. All right, let's let's keep our eyes open. Here he is. No, he's done it. He's done another route. He's there. Look. Let's. Whoa. Let's not get in his way. Oh, 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 oh. He's working fine. Little faith we had in our truck. Let's just go around this way out of the way. Now, I wish there was a way to move the nodes, because then you could really fine-tune what you're doing, couldn't you? But that's fine. There we go. Or a way to manually place the nodes. If the devs are watching, that would be fantastic. Oh, he's working great. There's our pink space elevator. And there he goes. He's going to stop, get unloaded. So I'm going to park this one right here out of the way. That's it. What do you reckon? Fred and Ginger. Yep, that's his waiting bit for the unloading, even though it's already been done. Look at that. And that is totally filled up. How much has he got in him? Uh, vehicle. Yeah, so he's like running backwards and forwards, and he's basically on full most of the time. Nice. So as long as we don't interfere with him or get in his way, we are constantly running off of coal power. That is absolutely brilliant. And do you know what? I'd like to... Uh, uh, where's me colour me thingy? There we go. Are we still on the same colour? I like this sort of purpley colour. I think we need this purple colour in my life everywhere. Uh, let's go around here. Yeah, purple for you. All of these machines. Purple. Uh, what is this one doing down here? Oh, that's got me wires coming in, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I'm not going to do me storage. I'm going to leave those. So we're going to purple. Can I reach? Oh, R to reload. Purple, purple, and then we're going to have all of these purple as well. So I basically need to make a whole load more storage because we are absolutely filling up our storage like nobody's business. Purple constructor, leave the storage. All of these need to be purple as well. Let's run up here. This purple is more, is it lilac? It's like a light purple, isn't it? Hooray, there we go. Uh, the storage I'm going to leave, because I'm going to think of another colour for those. Oh, isn't that so much better? Uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, what else have we got around here? Oh, we've got our concrete area. Well, that's going to be... This is all going to be redone at some point anyway. Can I do the posts? Oh, we can! We can do the posts as well. I missed something over there. There we go. Uh, there we go. And, uh, yep. And this, this is our new colour scheme, folks. That is nice, that is nice. And then we've got our copper stuff. I'll do it from here. Oh, apparently I can. I'm not sure whether that changed. Anyway, we can have a look when we get there. So I've started building out this floor up here as well, trying to work out what we might do next. But let's have a look um, what we've got to unlock. So, huh, I love that. We need, we need a name for our truck. What can we call our truck? That's doing all our work for us. Let me know in the comments below. So where are we up to? We are up to this one here. Uh, we need a load more motors and modular frames. And these are things that I would like to set up big factories for as well. I don't want to hand make these. I want I want factories making these. Look, they've come on again. I've like walked away and come back. Oh, annoying. What about in here? Oh, the interior. Oh, that changes. Any of this? Toilet? No, still the same. All right, any other research we've got to do? Mycelia yellow power slug. Oh, you can actually research a yellow power slug. Um, I do have one of those. I've been collecting them. Yeah, let's research that guy. And that might just give us something extra good. Extra gooder. Here we go. We'll chuck him in. Input yellow power slug. Yellow power slug. There we go. Excellent. That's going to take 10 minutes. We'll leave that running. Um, so what was I going to check? Yes, on here. So we now have tier 3, tier 4. We can go up to tier 6 or something. Um, I haven't finished unlocking all of these. So these give us conveyor pole stack, conveyor belts mark 2, and the rebar gun, and biomass, which we've already got. So I think that's like a better biomass or I don't know quite what that is but yeah we need some stuff here which I could make by hand and just unlock that 
maybe I will, just to get us through to the next level. Right, so something I would like to set up is a constructor to make reinforced iron plates for us. Uh, this one here, which takes iron plates and screws. Now, let's just run up. Uh, I need some stairs over here so I can get up over there. Let's just run up over here. So, iron plates and screws. We've got uh, two lots of iron plates coming in here. So, this row here of four and that row of four. We could have one of those go out the back. Um, so, where are they coming in? They're going in there, out there, in there. So, this is the end, actually. Mm. That's a pain. I was hoping we could... Maybe we could go up here somewhere. Let us take out that one... And we may have the constructor go up the top there. Yeah. And take those. And then our screws are right down the end here, if I remember. Yeah. So maybe we could do that as well. We do that and that. And then we'll do something up the top there. Let's just jump down here and take our stairs up. We haven't used the constructor yet, so that'll be fun. And some of the conveyor walls as well that help you to get conveyor belts going up like we want to see. So let's have a look over here. If we put... I'm hoping that will clear that and go up to here. That is what I'm hoping. So number nine, that's a conveyor wall. Um, if we put that there, let's try this out. And then number three. So I want that to come out of there. Go into there. Darn it. So is it that we can't afford it or clearance? Conveyor belt is too steep. Oh, okay. So if we go back another one. Or could we get it to come up to here? I'm not quite sure the... Whether that's going to... Hang on, let's go there. Yeah, just too steep. Okay, let's go back another one. We'll put this one over here. Uh, eight, seven, six. What number is it? Nine. We'll pop that there. And we'll go from there to there. No, okay, hang on. Let's do that again. Let's go from there to there. This side. That's it. So the extra will come out. We'll go into here. Plates. There we go. And then we want the same with the screws over here. So let's remove that. And put that in there. So we know that's going to work. Because it's worked over there. But they'll go in the other side. Come on. Okay, excellent. So we've got both of those coming in. And we could put a constructor right in the middle here. So let's have that as number nine. And what's that got? Uh, missing reinforced iron plates. Okay. It says two items going in, but it looks like there's only one. Am I picking the right thing here? Assembler. That's what I want. Yeah, I thought I was picking the wrong thing. Assembler. So there's the two inputs. So what do we need for that? Modular frames. Oh, we need a few different things. Uh, let me add one of those to my list. And let me go and make some of those. See, things like this. Modular frames and rotors. We need to get all of those things. Can I not fit through that gap? We need to get all of those things automated as well. But let me just make those back in a sec. And there we go. Three modular frames. They're not actually that complicated to make. So, But yeah, I, would, I do want all of those things being automated. So I can just pick them out from somewhere. Stick them in my inventory and go. That is the idea. Okay, so let's put this thing down. So it's got the two... In What's it saying? Can't afford. Oh, we need some wires. Darn it. I thought I had everything I needed. I'm going to do Geronimo off the top here. Ah, don't kill me. No, we're fine. Uh, let's grab some cable. There we go. I thought I had that one. Let's run up again. Do, 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 do. Every time I run through there, I get a little... Little FPS drop, but yeah, early access. Early access. That's the way it goes sometimes. Let us add this here. Excellent. So, two in the back, one out the front. I want to give ourselves some space, but I want to be able to get those around the corner. So, that's going to come along on there. So, I want this one on here in the middle. So, let's go. I think that should be okay. And if we grab that one from there... So there. Can't afford. We need the plates. Okay, that's fine. I could grab the plates off of here. Come back. <laughs> ah, oh, darn it. It threw me off. If I get up on here, I want to stand there. There we go. Let's grab 100 plates. And then we can ride this up. Woohoo! 
Do, 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 do. Oh, I thought I was going to die there. Let's get this one to... I want this to get a bit of a... Yeah, let's go to the middle there and then go round. And then we'll have that one. There it is. We'll go to the middle here. Yeah, it's not quite straight, is it? But there we go. I think that's fine. That's lined up. Looks okay to me. Whoops. And then this here, we want to say... We would like you to make reinforced iron plates. Excellent. And that's just going to go at 100% speed. 24 screws. 4 iron plates. Oh, oh, power, of course. Okay, let's connect this to there. And that should start producing for us. Let's have a look in here. Reinforced plates. 5 a minute. It's waiting on the screws. And then we could have... What could we have out here? Let us put a storage container that can nicely fill up with those. And we'll get that nice and close. Is that okay there? Looks okay to me. And we'll connect that from there to there. And hopefully we'll start seeing some reinforced plates coming out. Yay! And filling this thing up. Purple! And that is it. Excellent. Reinforced plates. Fantastic. And we could fit more crafters up here. And I'm wondering about my overall storage situation. I mean, this factory, when I first started building it, hadn't played the game much. Thought, yep, yeah, that's going to be plenty big enough. And as time's gone on, we're realising we need to make things larger and larger and larger. So that's half the fun of this game, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm, I just wonder, we could, of course, overclock this thingy, couldn't we? Which would be good. If we've got a spare power slug lying around... Uh, 90, we need one more. How are you doing? Oh, it's nearly there. We could do that. Maybe we'll do that another time. But what I'm going to do is leave my game running. So this fills up with those reinforced uh, plates. And then when that fills up, uh, this will back up. And then that will fill up with screws. And that will fill up with plates. So we'll have plenty of everything. We won't need to worry. Yay, 20. There we go. Let's take a dive off the top of here. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we lived. Excellent. So we should now be able to... Stick all of these in here. 500, 1,000, 100, 20, and 20, and press the button. Logistics Mark 2. There it goes. Milestone reached. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short range transportation. Good idea. There we go. I thought, I always think you've got more to say. I want to get some of these jump pads and things going. So are we getting the Mark II conveyor belt? Yes. Transport up to 120 resources. So that is actually reinforced plates, isn't it? Oh, instead of normal ones. Wow. Well, good job we've got those going. Uh, stackable conveyor poles. So that is going to be brilliant for getting poles up to higher areas. Uh, anything else new added with that one? No, I think that is it at the moment. So what I'm going to do... Between this episode and the next, I'm going to do this one here and unlock that so we can get into tier 4. We've got steel production, heavy modular frames, ro oh, there's so much stuff in here. And conveyor belt mark 3, we're going to start working on that one. But, wow. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Don't miss out on the next episode very, very soon. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Ta oh, can I color my can I color my truck? That is going to be the ultimate test of this thing. Can we color the truck? Oh, you can't color the truck. You're killing me. Right, I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.